welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations 2. Barry's biceps are pulsating with excitement. Let's not keep him waiting. Magnum. Looks like we should be able to jump that. Oh, do we have more generators? Uh. Uh. <laughs> we have so many herbs. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Note on corpse disposal. 8th of February 2010. We had a lot of bodies to take care of today, more than usual. These T Phobos trials sure can burn through the available subjects. We used up 30 bodies in just three days. The only thing to do is keep bagging and dumping them in the pit. Hmm. I wonder if that's the thing that I fought back there. Over there. I mean, it kind of looked like an amalgamation of people. Maybe that's all bodies that were thrown into the pit. They kind of formed together and unionized. Let's get Natalie as strong muscles on this job. <laughs> Still just as impressive as ever. How do you do it? Oh. Oh. I did a lot of damage. Yep, that's a whole bunch of people. A lot of faces. I think it's finally dead.
What now? Let's keep at it. We'll have that old bitch cornered soon. Please don't call her that, Barry. What is that up there? Some red cloud. Pretty sure that means there's an enemy, but there's no enemy there. Or is there? No, there's there's no enemy. It's another brick. She has powers, I presume? Only 76.7% .7 accuracy. Zero retries, though. 7,800 bips. We can afford the reduced recovery time after evading. Let's do that. You're perfect. <coughs> Six months from now. You're going to awaken as me. And the world is going to be very afraid. So good night, my darling. Sleep well. All this time wasted. My whole life has been a prelude to this, my true birth. Time to meet the cause of our misery. What is this place? Doesn't matter. Let's find the Overseer. Datums. We found the Google Data Center. This is the cloud.
gets loose change the direction of the water. Yeah, but where? I don't recognize the place. Look at the video feeds. We've been through most of these areas. And she's been watching our every step. Ah. I really do love that even in, what was it, 2015, I think? Or maybe 2016, 2015 or 16 when this game came out. Even such a recent game, they still just put random jewels just like laying on the ground and stuck on ceilings and stuff. It's like so silly, I love it. What the hell? Why is it so glossy? The furniture. And the floor. Everything. Is this... This is how the future is? Thoughts on Kafka. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with this story. Perhaps I can relate to it more closely than I'd like to admit. One morning, Gregor awakens to find himself transformed into a hideous insect-like creature. His family is bewildered at first, but they do try to take care of him. Eventually, he becomes too much of a burden to them. Nothing more than an ugly monster, a nuisance to the family. When Gregor learns of this, he retreats to a solitary death. Up until his transformation, Gregor had been supporting the family. Now that he was no longer useful, he was a burden to them. They were relieved when he died. I too have been bred to serve a purpose. Once that purpose... Once that purpose accomplished, I too would have been cast aside. But I refused to shrivel up and die in solitude. I refused to let myself become a hideous monster. You must have felt the same way too, Albert. I don't think those fish are real. Ooh! 15 handgun ammo, that's really good. I didn't think I could actually even break these. Let alone that they would have ammo inside of them. Glad I tried. What else is maybe destructible? <laughs> Neil's report. Stuart, it looks like the most suitable vessel is going to be that little girl, after all. The other candidates had potential, but that girl is in an entirely different class. She's incapable of feeling fear. That's not surprising when you consider what she's been through. Getting caught up in that Terra Grigia panic at such a young age having everyone she knew be killed, losing her parents right in front of her eyes. I, I'll get back to that in just a second. After experiencing those kinds of horrors, what left is there to be afraid of? The only problem is her age, but that's a problem that time will take care of for us. She's the perfect candidate for, our, for your purposes. Uh, okay, so Neil is under the impression that if a child goes through many tra traumatic things that they never feel fear again, I don't think that's how that works, Neil. Please don't become a child psychologist or something. Notes on the transfer procedure. The transfer will take place soon and my success is nigh. Spencer, you poor pathetic old man, you spent your final years desperately searching for the secret to immortality, and you died while your research was still incomplete. But I have been continuing that research. The body will age. This is an inescapable fact but we can escape our death by transferring our mind into another vessel. All of my efforts have been invested into developing and refining this system. I've had a few successes, but I still have so much more to do before I can consider my work to be complete. As of now, I can confirm the following. The new vessel must be mentally strong and be able to overcome any emotions of fear. After the transfer, it will take six months before the transferred mind can be stabilized. During this time, the vessel should be protected at all costs. Time is of the essence. I must work quickly. What do you make of it? I don't know. I just can't figure the Overseer out. Ah! 
What the hell is that? This can, can this be pushed? Ah. Can we get two people to push it? What is that back there? A safe or something? Well, the fish were fake anyway, right? Alright, we're through. Let's hurry. Oh, we had to do that. Dang it, I thought it was a secret. Oh, right, this thing does double shots. We meet at last. You came all this way just to say goodbye. Oh, I'm touched. It's already done. I've conquered fear and earned the right to become a god. Come out from behind that glass so I can choke a god. All that remains is one final test. One last threshold to cross. Is she even listening to us? My brother's escape was death. And soon, it will be mine as well. I will share in his fate, and then I will surpass him. What are you trying to do? Escape. Just like that. Warning. Confidentiality protocols initiated. Self-destruct sequence of the facility's upper spire will begin immediately. If you are currently situated in an affected area, please remain calm. We need to get out of here! And let all the answers die with her? Fine. Back to the elevator! Hurry! I am not sharing a coffee with that nut job! Well, Holy fuck! there's a passage down below. Find another route. Sweet! Bonuses! Ooh! Moira, got one for you. Just a one lock, good. Magnum ammo case. Oh, all right. You're 
Oh shit. I've never done this before. Is that okay? <laughs> That's instant death, isn't it? Oh! Oh my god, that's a disgusting death! Oh. Well, the last checkpoint was really close. Oh, what the? I didn't even know that was possible. I th uh, huh. I thought uh, the character would only go down if they were going down onto something. <laughs> Sorry, Moira. Okay, made it this time, just barely. Diamond, 2,000 bips. I think it's the first time I've found a diamond. Gotta be on the lookout for secrets. Hello? Probably gonna need this.
Can I push him from this side? Wait. Yes. There we go. That's weird. She kind of insta died, but sort of didn't. I thought there was no way that uh, Moira was actually dead, but I think she probably is. You never really know, though. I don't know, maybe Ada, like, came in and injected her with some virus that made her mutate and turn into some super strong thing, and she's actually alive somewhere. Who knows? You never know with Resident Evil. 4,920. Hmm, can I get anything decent? Let's get better damage with sub-weapons. 20% boost up to 150% in total. Claire, open your eyes. Claire, wake up! Claire. What happened to Moira? Was Moira with you? Mary. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. She's... I tried to save her. I should have... Moira. Why, baby? 
Why is this hospital so freaking dark? Moira. Natalia? Are you okay? Hey, what happened? Natalia, sweetie, where's Wesker? She went somewhere else. Oh, okay. Well, what matters is that you're safe. Wherever she went, we could still catch her. You're not hurt, are you? No, I just got the wind knocked out of me. Do you know where Wesker went? I think she's on the other side of the mountain. All right. Then we better double back up the cliff. I'm not sure what the significance of showing that identification or whatever that was. Was that berries that fell out or somebody else said? Don't know. I think we have any upgrades? Nope. That's a big sluice. They use it to control the water flow. Oh, so this is the thing that we changed. On the other side is Moira and Claire. What's that over there? That building might be a way up. Let's start heading in that direction. There's something ahead. Be careful. That was very generous with the hitbox. <laughs> Double team him. There's something ahead. Be careful. There. First time I've ever used it. Actually used this thing. Um, so is there any point in going down this ladder over here? Looks like it just leads to water, so I'm assuming... Yeah, you can't. Probably has to drain it to be able to go down there. committed. Oh! 
We got bugs. Ooh, nice one. Had another bottle too. Yeah, I tend to really like the fire bombs. See ya. I wonder if I'll find an inventory upgrade kit for Natalia. For now, I guess I should transfer some stuff. Take my herbs. Didn't mean to shoot.
This is apparently impassable. Okay, sure. Huh. Yeah, if the water... I guess if the sluice gate hadn't have been changed, then this here would be empty most likely, and we could get that and go down that ladder. Not sure if that really matters. like one of those cranes you see in junkyards. Into the road. We'll have to climb up the crane. It's a long way down. So one person's gonna have to stay. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> Crane operations report. Last month's operation report. Quota met 80%. Falling deaths four. Four? Just during a month. Four. Accidents during work hours lower worker productivity and reduce the monthly quota. Work safely and take care not to fall. go one side only it looks like unless we can jump that probably not hmm where's Natalia oh no I'm just gonna run ahead and see how far we can go unless oh it's only for it's for getting extras isn't it for getting bonuses on the other side yeah, that's gotta be it. Okay. Oh, we can go up further. Huh. I want to get over there, though. And no ladder will take me there. The only way, I think, is from here. Wait. How do you actually get to the other side? side, though, because I can't get to that. So what did it do? It moved to the side first, and then it moved here? So I think we actually want that. Oh, I think we want it back where it was before. Yeah, okay, I think I know how to do this. Uh. Wait. What did it I came from here? No. What the hell? How did I get from there to here? Okay, I think this should do it.
Yes. Fifteen handgun ammo. That was not worth it. Can't go this way? No. So we do have to go up. Oh! Uh. Okay, now we're about to where we were before. Sort of. There's a couple extras. Actually, I think just one extra that I purposely missed because I just don't care enough. <laughs> I don't want to risk falling again. I need to start shooting my rifle. Get rid of some of this ammo. Okay, so we need to go... up? Oh, we need to get over there. So yeah, this is what I was confused about before. This thing that I had walked on, this is the thing that moves when you move the platform. So you're able to walk across this, that's why it was, it looked like the configuration of what was up here had changed, because it had. So if we do this, should get us over to the other ladder. Not quite sure what we can do from here. gotta be kicked down from the top. So I think we need to get both of us up there, right? Yeah, I think so. So... Um... I need to get Barry up there somehow. Oh, that's easy enough, because I kicked... Oh, don't fall. Because I kicked this down. Well, it looks ready to collapse, but I think we can still cross. Almost there, honey. You gonna make it? I'm trying. Barry. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Not that way. There's something ahead. Be careful. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue trying to do whatever it is we're doing. I'm not quite sure. 